Ninth into the first turn was Hartmobile and Strong Life was 10th and last away. Day in a Life comes from post 10 to grab the first quarter lead for Mike LaChance in 26 and 2. Day in a Life by almost two lengths heading into the back stretch. Joey Joey settled away in the pocket. Here comes Pearl River Matt, first over and driving hard at the leaders. And on the back of that one is Matt Namera's band moving right on. Take down the flag suddenly back in fifth. Lease on life, sixth, third over and driving on the outside. Legal Den just ahead of Hearts Mobile. And the last pair were Colby and Strong Life, tenth in 56 and one. Taking over a short lead was Pearl River Matt. He is allowing stablemate Matt Namera's band to go on by. Lease on life up in the outside side third and the uh, entry is one two three into the final turn take down the flag now fourth on the outside and day in a life is fifth that's joey joey sixth at the inside legal dan is seventh heartmobile is eighth and then colby and strong life tenth off the final turn the three-quarter time 123 and four and they turn for home in the metro consolation matt namara's band lease on life on the outside right there in third is pearl river matt coming back on for the lead along the inside is Matt Namara's band trying to put away lease on life. Pearl River Matt comes back through for third. The entry is one, two, three coming to the finish and to win it all is Pearl River Matt. That's a uh, Matt Namara's band uh, holding off Pearl River Matt and Lease on Life third. Matt Namara's band, Trevor Ritchie, 152 and four in the Metro Consolation. Of the ninth race, 1B Matt Namara's band. Matt Scooter, two year old Bay Colt from Jazabel Hanover, owned by Jack Starling Stables Limited of Windsor, Dan Smith of Dorchester. Jack Darling trains Trevor Ritchie for the winning drive. His fifth and sixth starts this year. Lifetime best, 152 and 4. Matt Namara's band wins the 1997 Metro Stakes Consolation. winter of course you know what's going on as far as Colts and they change so much when they race and going into this race did you feel the same way Pearl River Matt? Yeah yeah Pearl River Matt he's been kind of the star of the stable all along but he's had some uh, some sickness problems and, and some physical problems and I, I was really happy with him and I hope he keeps uh, improving. We're going to have a chance to watch the stretch drive now. At this point, we were teasing Trevor Ritchie that he was the one with the Murphy blind on, not any of the horses, because his stable mate was coming on the outside. And I was thinking, coming to the wire, Jack, that these Colts must know that they trained together all winter because they decided they wanted to be together at the wire. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, Lease on life went a, a tough trip. I'm really happy with him, too. Uh, all three of them, I just couldn't be happier. Dan, do you get a chance to go down to Florida very much in the winter and check on the Colts? A couple times. I usually get down about February and March, and... Uh yeah, I'd, as much as I can, put it that way. And as far as upcoming stakes, Jack, I know there's so much money to be ma made in the fall, even though you missed the final tonight with these guys. Right, there's a couple here in, uh, in Woodbine and Mohawk, and then we go to Lexington, and I think Chicago, and that's about it. And the Governor's Cup, do you have them eligible no, for that? No, nothing in the Governor's Cup. Okay, well, that's a terrific evening. They finished one, two, three. You got 87% of the purse in the $100,000 final, so that's nothing to sneeze about. Thanks for joining me, gentlemen. Thank you.